Well, Ubuntu 1304 sat in first place on my distro review score list for a little while this year. Got knocked down to third place in the end, but let's see what its successor, the Ubuntu 13.10, is like. Well, first off, some of the key changes. Chromium has now been replaced by Firefox for the web browser. Now, some people might argue, oh, what's Firefox, this bloated heap of whatever, now doing as the web browser? Well, in actual fact, I think uh, it's probably a wise move, considering Lubuntu is targeting more lighter weight machines, that Firefox has now improved its memory usage quite a bit from what it was like a few years ago, where it was a bloated heap of insert expletive there. The icons and artwork have now been improved. There's a few different backgrounds to choose from, and I think the icon set is quite nice. The memory usage has been significantly lowered. It's now down to about 148 meg of base memory usage. This is on a 64-bit installation, so you can expect a 32-bit installation to be even lower than that. Well, this compares to about 180 meg from what it was uh, six months ago. So that's quite a good improvement. The NVIDIA drivers can now install properly. Uh, this was a point I failed to notice before. It wasn't until I came to do the, a full system install I actually noticed that. So they, they work, now work properly. And lastly, uh, this one you can't see just yet, but there's a keyboard selector icon on the taskbar. So first off, the layout of the desktop. As you can see, that is quite traditional. We've got the application menu in the bottom left-hand side. We have shortcuts for file manager, that's PCMAN FM. Next shortcut along is internet, which as I mentioned is now Firefox instead of Chromium. Got a shortcut there to left click to iconify all windows and middle click to shade them. We have desktop switcher. On the right hand side is the audio. And here is the new keyboard selector, which I was talking about. So that is currently highlighted as US which it isn't because the keyboard layout is UK and I set the UK during the installer. So perhaps I can get rid of that. I can just select there, remove keyboard layout, handler from panel. Ha, problem solved. Anyway, further along the panel we have the network selector, time and calendar and the shutdown menu. So Lubuntu really is the lightweight option out of the Ubuntu range. It's ideal if you have an older machine or well, you can use it on a newer machine as well, and it goes ridiculously fast, like I'm finding here. Just click on the program and it opens straight away. You can use it on the Windows 8 system, because that was part of the upgrade of Ubuntu 1304, compatible with the Secure Boot UEFI BIOS. You choose different border styles. I think that one looks quite nice, so I'm going to change that. There's the sort of things you can customise there. If you want to change the default web browser from Firefox back to Chromium, what you can do is open up the Lubuntu Software Center, which is just a lightweight version of the Ubuntu Software Center. I'm going to start with typing in Firefox. So there's two applications, Firefox Web Browser and the extension for Ubuntu. So select the first one and click on Remove from System. Then select the second one, that's the Ubuntu extension. And again, click Remove from System, which I can just type in Chromium. Click on Add Apps to Basket, select the Apps Basket, then Install Packages. Now when I click on the web browser, on the internet icon, it opens up Chromium. Let's take a look at one of the problem applications, which is still PC Man FM. When you're looking at one of the network drives, for instance a Windows file share or a Samba file share, you have to type it in by hand, SMB. So you're looking at the folders here, and yeah, you can scroll through. It's quite quick and responsive here, and you can open up videos. When you want to copy the folder though, why doesn't it give you that option? It still doesn't give you the option. It's just weird why I don't let you. So if you want to copy the folder, what you have to do is open up another window of PC Man FM, and you could drag and drop it. But at least the file copying seems to work okay now. This was one of my issues that I had before with PC Man FM, and it sometimes crashed out during a Samba file copy. Anyway, I can leave that going there. We'll just run that in the background, see if it all copies okay. Whilst I go and take a look at what applications it comes pre installed with. So, under accessories, that really is about the assortment of accessories that you expect to see. 
games. You've got the lightweight assortment of Penguin games. And I've said my comments on that before and nothing changes. I do dislike the amount they install there. On the graphics, you have a document viewer, empty paint graphics editor, and simple scan. Under internet, as you've seen, you've got Firefox with the web browser, Pigeon Internet Messenger, and transmission for the torrent client. Office, you have the lightweight versions of Abbey Word and Genumeric, which are quite a bit lighter and faster to open than LibreOffice. Sound of Video, you've got Audacious for the music player, Gnome M player for the video player, as well as a couple of applications there. So not many applications pre-installed, but there's a lightweight basic assortment to get you going. Well here's what I thought of Lubuntu 13.10. Well, it's good to see the memory usage has now significantly reduced, although it's never exactly bloated and overweight before, but the lighter memory usage could certainly be quite appealing to Windows XP users who are going to be left high and dry after Microsoft finally cuts them off. Well, actually only a few months time. So yeah. Lubuntu 13.10 could certainly provide a good transition if you want to keep an older machine going. And the improved artwork with the new icons background uh, is quite nice. But the problems with it, uh, well, it's still got the same issues with PC Man FM file manager that I've highlighted over and over again. Well, but at least you can copy a large quantity of files over SMB without it crashing. Well, at least that's what I found. It is basic compared to the heavier weight desktops of Unity, GNOME and KDE, but then that's something you've got to balance off. Do you go for light and lightness and speed, or heavier and more features? So, something to choose from there. And the support time is only 9 months. So if you would prefer the long term support release, that would be Lubuntu 1404, which is due out in April 2014. So for the first time, they are going for long term support. But overall, I've given this distro 88%. It is a slight improvement from 1304, so it's definitely worth upgrading to if you're already using Lubuntu. So thanks for watching, I'll see you later.